The mind is its own place, and in itself can make a heaven of hell, a hell of heaven. It's no surprise that his disappearance has rocked the political world. Whether it's due to illness, an accident, or something worse, all we know so far is that rumors are spreading fast. If I may ask, how much longer do you think you can keep a handle on this? I was assured I'd be fine, but the flies have already started buzzing around me. Oh, there's nothing for you to worry about. This will all be over soon enough. He'd have to defy us to stop us, and we both know that won't happen. Ha! <laughs> That's certainly true. With that off my mind, I trust matters on your own end are proceeding smoothly. Indeed, the agreement's going exactly as arranged. All our dreams would be within our reach soon enough. We merely need to hold out for a bit longer. Yes, it will truly be a dream when that day comes. <laughs> We're back! Welcome back. Still that bad out? He's fixing some coffee for you. Oh, I'm saved. I was worried we weren't gonna make it for a bit there. I mean, just look at Mona. Oh, he's all curled up in a ball. Don't you just love it when cats do that? And I'm not a cat. Phew! I feel my HP coming back. Sir, top me off. You've really got this gig down. In fact, you're working like you own the place. You planning to force Sojiro to retire or something? Hey, got anything for me? Rest assured we do. One of LeBlanc's finest offerings, straight from the source and heated to perfection. Enjoy. This is nothing but hot water. Is this straight from the tap? Mona-chan, I have some hot milk ready for you here. Aw, oh, thanks, Haru. You know what I like. I'll let it cool a little first, though. This tongue of mine is pretty sensitive. This cold out, everybody wants to stay inside, not just the shut-ins. Sojiro spent half the morning grumbling that he won't get any customers today. At first I was happy we had the place to ourselves, but now I feel kind of bad. Well, we should enjoy what time we have together while we can. All too soon the third years will graduate. And you'll be returning to your hometown, correct? With that in mind, even our most mundane moments together feel precious in a way. Right! And it's not like we're bad at keeping in touch. We might end up a little farther away, but we'll still visit each other. Of course. Even when we're in college, I'll still find time to come see you all. Yeah, we'll make plenty of plans. Oh! Like going to the beach! You know I'm down! I'm gonna wow the babes for sure this time! Ugh, you never learn, Ryuji. Perhaps that's the opportunity I've been waiting for. I believe I've designed the perfect swimsuit. It's eco-friendly, allowing me to enjoy the beach with the minimum amount of fabric needed. Please stop making me picture that. Oh, sorry if I set that conversation off track. 
you're fine. We've just got an awful lot to look forward to after graduation. Sure do. And why not enjoy the time we have now, too? Hit me with another soda. Oh, brother. You're the one who could use some self-restraint. And now, our report on Toshiro Kasakabe. The authorities' investigation into the Diet member's apparent disappearance continues. Considered by many to be a strong candidate for Prime Minister, where could he have gone with the election so close? A fair contingent of voters look to him as the fresh new face of national politics, so his absence is concerning. Yes, ever since Kasakabe entered the Diet, his support from the public has only grown. It's no surprise that his disappearance has rocked the political world. Whether it's due to illness, an accident, or something worse, all we know so far is that rumors are spreading fast. Man, the net's going crazy about him too. There are at least half a dozen conspiracies at this point. They've been covering him quite a bit on television lately. Lots of future Prime Minister speculation. Someone like that suddenly disappearing. Haven't we been through enough? Do we seriously have to go through some DLC too? I don't know anything about the guy, but maybe he's just dealing with some family stuff. As the investigation continues, working hesitate to say it, but could we have entered the metaverse? It can't be. I mean, there's no way. It was... Yeah. And the metanav should be gone entirely. Not only that, I still look the same. And so do you. And what the hell's going on? Rather than discuss the situation, perhaps we should begin investigating. Hey, look! The door! It's glowing! This is just Sojiro pulling our leg! Oh, please tell me I'm right! Well, I, I guess all we can do is... open it? It's not like there's another exit here. Okay, try the door, but be careful. We'll be right behind you. We're just in LeBlanc, right? This has to be bad. Oh. We're in our Phantom Thief outfits.
Whoa, we've been spotted. Get ready, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Who are these people? No idea. But if they're attacking us, our only choice is fighting back. Let's split up and take them on. Got it. Panther and I will handle the ones on the right. And we'll take the left side. Let's go, Fox. Well, that means we're plowing straight ahead. Next, Joker. 
Leave it to me. Just look at this spot. I sure know how to pick them. Think you can evade your no. kick? Excellent marksmanship by me. Not exactly shadows. I don't know. Same goes for where we are now. We found the rebels! Punish all traitors! Punish all traitors! Uh, where are these guys born out from? Joker, use your persona. Take them out. One fell swoop.
ruler of this land. And having your lives in my hand. That's right! <laughs> well, are you ready to join me for the rest of your life? to hold them off so far, and now... And now you're all nice and grouped together for me. This is the last of you, all right. Whoa, that guy's massive! Skull! Hang on, we're coming! Wait, stay with the group! <laughs> At least one of you is smart. One more wrong move. Uh, did you just issue me an order? Do you not know how things work around here? Joker! Just take her out! Don't worry about me! Oh my... Those mannerless little brats. They're beginning to make me sick. In that case, I've got just the thing for you. <laughs> God damn it! What are you... <laughs> Keep your mouth shut. I'll show you soon enough. And then you'll never dare to give me a lip again! Damn it, get your mitts off me! <laughs> you may be crude, but you have quite an interesting power, don't you? Yeah. Hmm. What a mouth on you. Care to see what I can do with mine?
terrible. mind control. <laughs> it appears my test of love works on you brats as well as anyone else. As for the rest of you, you're scurrying around this grown tiresome. But I'll put a stop to that. I'm going to make you all mine. No! Look out!
Yeah, we can't thank you enough. We'd be in serious trouble without you. Don't mention it. We appear to share a common enemy. After all, it didn't look like either of you were going to back down without my intervening. Marie is immensely powerful. Not only that, her forces are great. We'd never be able to defeat her head on. I see. Sounds like you have a history with her. Please, don't take this the wrong way, but... Who are you? And what is this place? I'm Marina, the Rebel Corps leader. And who are you two? I must admit, I still can't believe you took down those Legionnaires. Hmm. Hey, your name's Joker, right? Why didn't you ever surrender? You took a serious beating back there. But no matter how much Marie hurt you, you never seem to actually fear her. Uh, all the time? Well, it certainly sounds like you're no stranger to dire circumstances. I need to ask you one last question. Are you two really standing up to Marie? Or are you actually just her pawns trying to entrap me? If it's the latter, then speak up now so I can wrap this up quickly. What? When did this become an interrogation? Take it easy there. You saw what happened back there. She took our friends and made them her slaves. At the very least, we've got some people to rescue and some payback to dish out. <sighs> I see. Apologies for that. Marie is very crafty. She's able to brainwash people into doing anything. This even includes behaving the way that you two have been. So, do you believe we're not brainwashed now? Yes, I believe you two are being sincere. Marie has no tolerance for opposition. She'll hunt you to the end of the world if she has to. If you're looking to lay low, why not come to the Rebel Corps hideout with me? I'll explain everything when we arrive. We're actually almost there. I imagine it's safer for us there than out here in the street. Joker, let's go with Arena and see what her hideout's like. Considering how we have no idea what's going on, I think we just have to trust her. Plus, anyone who'd put their life on the line to rescue us must be pretty decent, right? Thank you. You won't regret it. Shall we go, Joker? And you, uh... My name's Morgana, but call me Mona when we're out in the open. Mona, allow me to show you the way. Th that's Welcome to the Rebel Hideout. <laughs> that may have made it sound a bit too grand. It's really just a regular restaurant. It sure looks like it. What's the chief shop doing here? Hmm? You two notice something strange? Say, Arena, how long has that building been there? Uh, how long it's been? As far as I know, the cafe's always been here. We've always used it as our hideout. This is just getting weird. They look way too similar to be a coincidence. When we first crossed over into the Metaverse, we were originally inside LeBlanc. Maybe this is our own cognitive version of LeBlanc? No, couldn't be. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, but we can discuss it inside. Come on, you two stick out like sore thumbs around here. Let's go. Yeah. We need to see this place for ourselves. Let's go, Joker. Whoa, look at this. 
this? I can't believe it. Even the interior is a perfect copy of LeBlanc. Your friends are from another world? I have to admit, that's rather hard to grasp. This world's the only one I've ever known. On top of that, you're also telling me you're thieves who steal hearts. And you just stumbled into this world? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Believe me, we're in the same boat here. All of a sudden, we were surrounded by Marie's forces, and you had to rescue us. We really have no idea what's going on. Well, we can try to hash it out later. Uh, Morgana, and you. I suppose it's my turn to answer questions. Feel free to ask away. Why? You two were in trouble, so I had to help. Even if it meant getting caught? Those guys already had it out for you. True. And I admit I was already considering recruiting you to our cause. I'd never seen anyone go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Marie's forces before. Not that well, anyway. We'll certainly take the compliment. But you were the real star back there. Thanks again, Arena. It was a pretty big gamble on my part. But I'm definitely glad it paid off. So, anything else? She's a ruthless tyrant who fancies herself the ruler of these parts. This used to be a peaceful place, free of any sort of conflict. Then, Marie appeared, and everything changed. She declared that the entire city and all its citizens were now her property. With her invincible soldiers leading the way, she quickly seized full control. Invincible soldiers? You mean those guys who attacked us? Yes. We've taken to calling them legionnaires. I'm sure you saw for yourselves. Not only are they incredibly strong, but all we can do is knock them out. They're always back on their feet all too soon. No matter the tactics we try, they're seemingly invincible. Maybe they're shadows of some kind. Only personas can put down a shadow. No wonder you didn't stand a chance. Shadows? Personas? Whatever those may be, I knew you had solid intel on the enemy. Anyway, after Marie showed up and declared that this was her kingdom, now she brainwashes anyone she can find, then uses them up until they're nothing. Anything else you'd like to ask? Yeah, she said this was the Rebel Corps' hideout, didn't she? Marie is strong enough that it'll take everyone in the city to stop her. That's why I founded the Rebel Corps. I've served as leader ever since. As the one who inspired the citizens here to fight, it's my job to see that Marie no longer enslaves them. Well, you certainly have a good reason to be considered a criminal, huh? Pretty impressive, Arena. <laughs> well, our current win record certainly isn't impressive. There are so few of us left now. We're basically an army in name only. Yeah, when your enemies get right back up, there's only so much you can do. Right. The best we can do now is lay low here and look for gaps in their defense. So, was there anything else? So, I understand that Marie is doing whatever she pleases in this world. 
But do you know if she has a goal? If she's going through the effort of enslaving everyone, it has to be for some reason. <sighs> the perfect wedding. The perfect wedding? She wants to get married? Yes. Marie is in a perpetual state of preparing her wedding. It's become her single obsession by this point. It always needs to be more, no matter the pain it may cost. Can't say I expected that. Her own legionnaires, the citizens she captured, even your own friends are all forced to prepare her wedding. She was even able to command them to build her that tank with the premature message on the grill. Marie sounds like a real threat. She's self-centered enough to sacrifice everyone around her for her own desires. And if she's as powerful as she seems, then everyone's in real trouble. Oh, we need to act fast. Well, now that we've got a grasp on things, let's figure out our next course of action. Yeah, that's our top priority. But given how strong their brainwashing is, this isn't gonna be easy. About that, I have a suggestion. You two want to free your friends from Marie and escape this metaverse. And I want to take Marie down so nobody has to live under a tyrant anymore. With that in mind, I think we should join forces. Would you be willing to join the Rebel Corps if I were to help you on your rescue mission? I see. In other words, you want to make a deal, right? How about it? Especially when you consider how there's no way to rescue the others without facing down Marie. Not only do we need to rescue our friends, but we need to figure out how to get back home, too. I'd say the more of us, the better. And she seems pretty capable, too. We talked it over, and it's unanimous. You've got a deal, Arena. Excellent. Then it's a deal. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. First things first. I officially deem you two members of the Rebel Corps. So, with that said... Welcome to the Resistance, comrades! The comrades? Uh, well, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just go with that for now.
later, Arena. You were out on recon, right? Find anything? Correct, Captain. And your intel was right on the mark. Multiple unknown individuals are being held in the prison near Marie's castle. I'm not surprised that Marie sees you and your compatriots as a threat. Despite being brainwashed, her more powerful puppets usually get locked up when not in use. We won't know for certain whether or not these are your friends unless we see for ourselves. to start upholding my end of the deal. If we really did find your friends, they could give our forces a solid boost when we spring them. All right, we'll head out once you've rested up. I'll draw up a plan of attack. It won't take very long. Man, I didn't expect us to get beat as badly as we did. not working like usual really held us back there. Maybe the metaverse just works differently here? Well, it's no use thinking about it now. Plus, we've got Arena helping us out with that now. Hopefully she comes up with a strategy. of machines all over the place. What happened? It's been a while. <laughs> well, a very short while, I suppose. Welcome to the Velvet Room. This realm exists between dream and reality, between mind and matter. It appears you've suffered quite the ordeal. Miss Lavenza. You forgot everything she's done for you. <laughs> I owe you such a great debt. It would trouble me greatly were you not speaking in jest. It appears this place has been affected by the same guidance of fate as that which has claimed yourselves. And this guiding hand must be wielded by a being with significant power. However, I do not know which being is responsible nor their intentions. All I can say for certain is that our current situation deviates greatly from the natural course of events. I admit that my carelessness led to being caught in this aberration and pulled from my master's side. Oh, it got you too, Miss Lavenza? Whoever this being may be, they are also responsible for the chaotic state of this room. It's as if some force of negation has infected this place. This force has unfortunately affected you all as well, deepening the issue you currently face. I see. So that's why we couldn't summon our personas like usual. This woman named Marie called the place a kingdom or something. Whatever it is, it sure is weird. Then I will henceforth refer to that realm as a kingdom. This Kingdom is a world disparate from Mementos and the other palaces. 
Unfortunately, returning would be no easy feat. We would each be stuck here for eternity were we to simply wait. much from you. This realm, sealed off from all other realities, there is still much to learn. However, so long as you have the will to overcome this ordeal, I will spare no effort to aid you. I am the one who rules over power. To draw out the potential lying dormant within you, I shall reprise my role for you in this place. As I had previously explained, this room has suffered from a grave disturbance. Apologies, but would you mind taking your leave? I vow to tidy up the place before your next return. Indeed, I wholly believe that you can do this, Trickster. Morgana, I leave him in your care. And I'll be sure not to let you down, Miss Lavenza. By the way, that outfit, is that also the mysterious being's fault? No, I merely thought, under the circumstance, I could perhaps dress more fittingly to theme. What do you think? Does it suit me? Uh, uh... Does it suit me? <laughs> yeah, uh, looking cool. <laughs> it pleases me to hear that. Well then, Please visit me anytime you need, through the door in the hideout. We shall meet again soon. Which means...
I've got some new products available. What would you like? You have a good eye. Thanks for your purchase. Please, take your time. Everything good? All right, here you go. What would you like? Make sure you're well prepared. Come back soon. All right, let's go over the current plan. Take a look at this map. I see. The whole city's surrounded by the castle's outer walls, huh? Yes, the hideout's marked here. We're in part of the city that's a fair distance from the castle. And here is the prison where they're holding your friends. How do you plan for us to get there? Well, we certainly can't just travel the streets. Security is tighter than ever now. They've been after me for quite a while, but now they're looking for you two as well. So, I think the safest course of action is to make our way there along the top of the castle's outer walls. Yeah, 
we're definitely less likely to get surrounded that way. But this is so reckless! Just imagine what would happen were you to fall! Don't you worry about that. We're used to this sort of stuff. We don't call ourselves phantom thieves for nothing, right? Oh, good. Sounds like the strategy will play to your strengths. Hopefully we can find our friends and get them out of there before it's too late. Everyone, hang on just a bit longer. Well, have you found those rats for me? Not yet, ma'am. But we have every last man hunting them now. I see. Then, every last man is absolutely pathetic! I want those three at my feet now! Yes, ma'am! I swear, how can they all be so useless? Just as the ceremony was falling into place, the vermin start crawling in through the walls. All I need is the perfect wedding, and everything I've ever wanted will finally be within my grasp. Until that moment comes, anyone in my way is sure to regret it. Oh, play things! I think I'm in the mood now to try out my new little toys. That defiant little brat who escaped. Joker, was it? You are to find him and bring him to me. I want him alive. Got it? Your wish is our command, great lady Marie. Soon, I'll have that arrogant brat within my grip once more. And this time, I'll crush him right in front of his friends! <laughs> Enemy hit! Yeah! 
to do here. Leave it to me. Show me what you've got. should do it here. I've got to know. Just what the hell are those things? Plus, your powers aren't working like usual either, are they? You're messing with me. You know, your ability to summon more than one persona... Ah, forget it. It seems you two are still feeling held back. I must say, you're certainly holding your own regardless. That persona of yours. How'd you get that, if you don't mind my asking? Oh, come on! She doesn't know you're messing around! Personas are the power of the heart made manifest. You can summon one too, if you've got the resolve for it. Really? Okay. Before they catch us.
Amazing! Well done! Ready to go?
we made it? That went surprisingly well. Never take your opponent's head on unless you have to. And consider that your first lesson in phantom thievery. But it looks like you're getting the hang of it pretty quickly. Right, Joker? Oh, great idea! Want to become my next apprentice, Arena? <laughs> I'm honored, but I'm already struggling to keep up. More incoming! Only a few of them this time. Let's start the next lesson. understand. Now then. 
over. Here's this area is free of guards. Let's keep moving. Hmm. What's wrong? Everything seems to be going well enough, considering. It's just... This place is guarded pretty well. So why haven't we heard any alarms yet? You mean, this could be a trap? Yeah, something's off here. Our work might get a lot tougher real soon. No use worrying over it now. All we can do is keep going. There can't be much further to go. It's so quiet in here, it's creepy. Uh. Hmm? Uh? In there! We've come to save you. You've come to what? Wait, that's not. <laughs> hmm? Who are you? Well, that's what I was going to ask. So you're telling me this man isn't a phantom thief? Joker, do you even recognize him? Huh? Well, in that case... Just who did we free? Hmm? I thought the others were being held here. But where have I seen this guy before? TV? Oh, right! The politician that went missing! It's Kasukabe or something, right? Um, yes. I'm Toshiro Kasukabe.
I'd like for someone to tell me that as well. <sighs> I don't get it. Just what is happening here? Finding myself in this bizarre world with all those terrible monsters? Then I get rescued by a magician-looking teen with a bizarre cat mascot. Something wrong with me? When did I even get here? He's muttering to himself like a loon. But at least he doesn't seem brainwashed by Marie. Well, let's see if we can help him. Maybe he has some useful intel for us. Well, we certainly can't just leave him here to rot. That settles it. We're gonna help you escape this prison. I don't know who you people are, but I would definitely like to get out of here. I suggest we make our way out before those terrible girls come back. Terrible girls? Yes. They had been guarding this prison until very recently. I promise you, they are not to be trifled with. I suggest avoiding them at any cost. Especially the girl with the whip and the brazen leather outfit. She's the scariest one, by far. Hmm. I have a feeling we know just who he's talking about. Oh my! Just where do you four think you're going? How many times do I have to remind you? You belong right here. It's her! Let us do it, girl! Listen, you must not provoke her! If you do, she won't hold back! I'll just keep quiet. They're both far too dangerous to fight! Don't speak to them. Just figure out how to get out of here and take me with you. Oh, quit babbling, you pathetic coward. Did you really not get the whining whipped out of you last time? The way she's talking. They must still be brainwashed by Maria. Brainwashed? How dare you equate my handiwork to something so common as cleaning? This is domination! corner of their minds to every sense in their bodies. I am the one in control! Relishing something as terrible as that? You're one rotten lady! Amusing words, coming from some low-life thieves who snuck into my secure facility. But I'm glad you did. Now I can snatch up the rest of you, all in one fell swoop. What is going on? You already know them? No, don't bother answering that now. Let's just get away, fast. How do I not get a say here? Get ready. We're going to make them come to their senses. Right. Get 
leadership test. Hit him hard! Show me what you've got! Alright. Persona! Or set! These attacks of yours would barely hurt a fly. Was all that bravado just for show? Or maybe you're pulling your punches so you don't hurt your friends. Look, I'm wide open now. Why not strike me down? here, but at least we'll have our lives. If they take us to Marie, she'll put us under her control. But even if that's true, how do you expect this skirmish to play out? I don't care if it's brainwashing or domination. It's better than dying. Hey, it's Toshiro, right? I definitely agree that things are looking bad, but it's not over for us yet. As 
long as we have hope, then we fight. Even if we have to crawl our way to the end, we fight. When you refuse to stand up to injustice, you become complicit. Uh, are you? What the? Joker, uh, uh. mm. let's move. Oh, no, you don't. Thank you. You made this possible. Hmm. Bear witness! This banner shall drive our rebellion! It's time for action! The revolution is here! Whoa! Where'd that flag come from? Come back to that. Panther! Oracle! Uh, uh. Ugh, my head is pounding. Oh, good. Looks like that brought him back. We'll start guessing later. Right now, we have to focus on escaping. Right, I have no idea what's going on here, but I have to agree with the catfishy thing. Listen real well, all right? I am not a catfish! Oh, my, my apologies. I didn't realize I was mistaken. Hmm. An eel? I'm not an eel either! What's wrong with your eyes? Just oh, pull it together and give us a hand with them. Ah, yes. Uh, allow me. All right. Let's move out. I'll look after these two while they recover. Would you mind leading us back to the hideout? Yes, let's get out of here. You lead the way. Okay, okay, I get it. Just follow me. Leon and Futaba are resting upstairs. They'll be awake soon enough. Next on our plate, we've got a lot of catching up to do. First, let's start off with you. All right, Toshiro. And for your own sake, I hope you don't turn out to be our enemy. Well, hang on now. I understand you may be suspicious of me, but imagine how I feel. Firstly, what is this place? And who are you people? No, wait. Why is there a cafe in a place like this? And why did you suddenly change appearances when you stepped inside? Uh, maybe try just going with the flow here? This is far beyond the flow. In the past half hour alone, I've witnessed 10 incidents where the laws of physics were outright defied. No, actually, it's 11 if you count it. Oh, then there was... Sounds like a no. Yes, we should start from the top. Hmm, let's see. This world is somehow separate from my own and controlled. 
controlled by a woman named Marie. So you phantom thieves have teamed up with the Rebel Corps here to end her tyranny. Yeah, you got it. Makes sense now? How the hell could I get that? I know. This has to be a dream. Or perhaps some dystopian organization is experimenting on constructing worlds directly in people's brains. We're not stuck in a dream or experiment. Okay, time for you to answer our questions. Why did Marie have you locked up in her prison? Well, I was... I actually have no idea. Huh. Well, uh, don't give me that look. Okay, I know what you're all thinking. But I'm telling the truth. I just woke up in this world, then those monsters locked me up. But you remember your name and everything, right? Yes. Well, my name, I mean... Other things I should remember seem to have escaped me. I know I'm a diet member, and a few other details here and there. But there are these huge sections of my memory that are gone. It's rather unsettling, to say the least. You heard him. What's your take? <laughs> a spy? That's patently absurd. Could such a cowardly weakling really be a spy? I'm capable of fleeing any enemy within five seconds. No, three seconds, no, two seconds. We get it, we get it. Well, I guess there's no proof he's with Marie. We can't just toss him out on the street. That's right, so just get me out of here as soon as possible. I'm not so stupid as to ask the phantom thieves to place their trust in someone like myself. Hang on, you know we're the phantom thieves? After the mess you've made over the last year, how could I not? Especially your most recent fiasco. I remember that all too well. Wow, even Toshiro knows who you are? Maybe the Phantom Thieves really are a big deal. For better or worse, I'd have to agree. Breaking more laws than one can count. Sowing discord through all of society. You may have your contingent of fans fawning over you, but I have nothing but distaste for your style of mayhem. I can't believe you've been a gang of children this whole time. No! But regardless of the circumstances, I cannot condone children engaging in illegal activities to rail against what they perceive as unjust authority figures. You sound like the exact kind of politician we go after. <laughs> uh, apologies. Now is probably not the best time for this. I'm not sure how you'll react to this, but I'd like to make a proposition. You phantom thieves are cooperating with the Rebel Corps to find a way back to the real world, correct? That means we share the same goal. How about you let me join you in exchange for my aid? I don't really feel like arguing against it. What do you think, Arena? We've heard everything we need to hear. Now we just have to decide whether or not we believe him. Hmm. And I think? I'm going to believe him. Oh, thank you! I, I greatly appreciate it. And if you wind up double-crossing us, then we'll just deal with you the same way we'd handle any other traitor. Quite the clever rebel, aren't you? Let's make it official. Welcome to the Rebel Corps, Toshiro. Happy to be aboard. My housekeeping skills should come in handy here. Oh, you were planning to just stick around here. Come on. I hope we can pull it off at least. I know the two of us are definitely capable. I won't let it stress me. All 
all right. However... Mmm... However... Yes, that's right. There's lots of things to buy here. Please, take your time. You have a good eye. Thanks for your purchase. What would you like? Please, take your time. Come back soon. Hey, you two. Feeling any better yet? Ugh, I feel like my brain's still rebooting. But other than that, I'm fine. Mm, sorry to put you through all that. That being said, um, does anyone have any idea what's going on? Hey, hey, is it still safe to be here? It could get really nasty again. Hey, what's with that guy whispering to Joker over there? should catch them up. So, this guy is... Alrighty! Yet another mess we've stumbled into. Huh. I suppose I'd feel the same if I were you. Although, I'd really appreciate it if you were willing to join our cause. <laughs> you bet we're willing! Since you helped to free us from Marie, we've got to return the favor. <laughs> really? You two will be a huge boost to our forces! Thank you! Uh, the one problem is... I've been filled in on the situation. It sounds like you've had a rough time here. Not worse than my own, though. Are we supposed to trust this guy? <laughs> I don't know if I can picture him having our backs. He seems like a pretty big Phantom Thieves hater. Do you really need another politician throwing you under the bus? <laughs> Good point. But he doesn't seem all that bad. I can't believe that woman would 
do that. There must be no limit to her depravity. Mind controlling teenagers, making them wear absurd clothing. And to think of what she put on you in particular. Hey, I'm allowed to slug him, right? Just this once. You're a real rowdy bunch, aren't you? Uh, no fighting in the hideout, though. Please. Um, maybe we should just move on. At this point, we really ought to figure out our next steps. The Rebel Corps' primary objective is overthrowing Marie's oppressive regime. As for the Phantom Thieves, you're trying to rescue your friends and find a way back to your own world, right? Right. Unfortunately, we have no idea where the exit could be. We don't have a single solid lead either. Our only option so far is to search Marie's castle. So, my memory of it's pretty fuzzy, but when I was under Marie's control, I think I saw a weird looking door somewhere in the back of her throne room. I mean, it might not end up being the door we're looking for, but. No, a lead like that is way better than having nothing to go on. For now, let's try to find that door. There's a chance it'll take us back home. Sounds like going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Marie is an inevitability at this point. Fiddling with our heads and making us follow orders. Hope she's ready for some sweet revenge. <laughs> That's right. We're gonna make that jerk pay. Wait, if reaching the door is our only goal, is surely there's no need for full-scale combat. If we merely need to cross the threshold, perhaps, uh, just, uh, flying cross-chop or something. Great. Glad that settles things. Hey, don't just blow off my concerns with a grin. So, I was thinking for our next move. Our top priority should probably still be rescuing the remaining Phantom Thieves from Marie. We'll need as many allies as possible to take her down. We appreciate it. Now, if only we had some sort of clue as to where they might be. I've got some Rebel Scouts poking around town right now. We can hammer out our next course of action once they've reported back. Ooh, great work there, Captain. Make it happen. Nice. The rest of us will start prepping for combat. We should be ready to roll out in a moment's notice. Yeah! Huh? Is that your phone ringing? You can't get calls in the metaverse. What's going on? Hello. Thank you for answering. This is Lavenza calling. Miss Lavenza? You must be surprised, but considering the unusual situation we're in, I have made use of your smart telephone so that we may speak. Apologize for the wait. Preparations are finally complete on this end. Mm, not again! Take that! You! The Miss Lavenza? Velvet room immediately. See you soon. I have no idea what's going on there. But if Miss Lavenza's summoning you, you should probably go see what that's about. Awaiting you. You look like you have something you wish to say. What seems to be the matter? All who disregard instructions must be punished, no matter the transgressor. Does anyone take issue with that? Now, there is but one reason for your being summoned here. 
I have completed the arrangements necessary for your persona needs. Since the power of the wild card has been hampered somehow, you will have to make do with this process. Perhaps a demonstration would be simplest. I shall guide you through the process to ensure your comprehension. Before that, though, one small question. Have you sighted anything resembling this during your battles? Well then, this shall be easier to explain than I anticipated. Within these lies some sort of power that only exists in this world. I will now show you how to use this power to create new personas. This place... honestly feels hot. Your strength is being tested. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can accomplish. Do you wish to perform a fusion? Now then, make your decision. Is this persona except one moment, please? between different personas. This new power is available not only to yourself, but to your compatriots as well. Your strength is being tested. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can accomplish, Trickster. Your strength is being tested. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can accomplish, Trickster. What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? What would you like to do? Which persona will you choose? What would you like to do? What would you like to do? This place... What do you think of that? It is simply my duty as one who rules over power. 
So long as the flame of your resolve continues to burn, I will be by your side. Please return should you ever find yourself in need of more power. With that being said, Your strength is being tested. I'm looking you wish to dismantle a weapon. Which weapon will you choose? Which one will you choose? Which weapon will you choose? Are you finished? Would you like to look at the Persona Compendium? Then please take a look. Do you wish to register a Persona? What would you like to do? Ready to take your leave? Then I have a final gift before you do. There is no doubt that you will face many battles in this kingdom where you found yourself. While I may have been roped into the situation as well, it is an unfortunate fact that I am unable to provide you my usual services. Therefore, I am providing you with something in an attempt to make up for this failure. Please take a look at your smart telephone. Whenever you have need for my assistance, Please make use of that application. It will bring you right to me immediately. With this, even in the midst of battle, even if the enemy is right before your eyes, my aid is available to you. What if... Hey! Okay, okay.
We can do this. Listen! Understand. Do this. Say. sure have a lot of choices. Is good? I was 
thinking. Say. Thank you. Let's go. of a new power. Which persona will you choose? Now then, are you finished? Well then, have a pleasant day.
guess this is a bit shit. too easy. Keep your guard up. I'll show you.
We sure have a lot of choice. Until next time. Thank you. Keep up the good work and stay safe out there. Yes, Captain. And good luck to you as well, man. Everyone, we've got some new intel. We've spotted two people wearing outfits similar to yours in the vicinity of Marie's armory. They were described as a loud, rowdy blonde boy and a terrifying axe-wielding woman. Sound like people you know? Mm, yeah, <laughs> They're two of our friends, Ryuji and Haru. We should come up with a way to rescue them. Odds are, Marie still got them both under her control. We probably won't get away with charging the armory head on. It is, in fact, a very important stronghold for the enemy. And much more heavily guarded. That isn't all, either. There's also a rather complex system of security gates throughout the armory. It'd be all too easy to wind up lost and captured. on the place. I wouldn't go that far, but I was taken there for a while after I was captured. Maybe they were replenishing their supplies. Whatever it was, I distinctly remember being brought into the armory. I can say, without a doubt, that you'd never make it through there. You should wait for a better opportunity. Those are simply the facts. Does he have to be so smug about it? Hmm. Well, this definitely sounds like a real challenge for us. How do you phantom thieves feel about it? Ha! We don't throw in the towel that easily. Our friends' lives are on the line here. We're taking this mission. Mona said it. We're not gonna sit around just because a little danger is involved. It's way too early for us to drop this quest. Maybe we'll find a key item along the way. Hmm. I can say, without a doubt, that you'd never make it through there. We should wait for a better opportunity. Those are simply the facts. Did you really think we just didn't hear you the first time? I'm glad you phantom that you see things my way. I'm right there with you. We can't just give up on them now. Hang on, you agree with them? After what happened at the prison, there's no way that place will be safe. How is it acceptable to bring a group of children there? I, I, I understand that, but... Hmm. Of us are unanimous. We're taking this mission. Feel free to wait here if you don't feel like joining us. Uh, as a responsible adult, I could never let minors wander off into danger alone. Fine, if it's to help your friends, I'll accompany you. Uh, we appreciate the offer, but can you even fight? Of course, I can't fight. However, can guide you all through the base. You can? As I said before, I've already been inside the armory. Not only do I know the general interior layout, but I kept mental note of the gates with lighter security. Oh, now that's something. Hmm. I even eavesdropped on every guard's conversation. I have a great deal of experience in listening to others. Real proud of that one, huh? Listen to me. Nothing we do will make our mission any less dangerous. If you get even the remote sense that we're in trouble, retreat to the hideout immediately. Promise?
Bon. Okay, we're done. <laughs> 
Isn't there a way to escape? We're halfway there. Keep it up, folks. Taking up the challenge. Norma's been a part of the play. Take it down. Nearly all the tears. Graduating from the way. We've been read the puppets. Before I'll repair our late time. The night. Won't stop shaking. All right, leave the targets in sight. Oh man, enemy reinforcements. I'll show no mercy. Get ready. Let's go. Isn't there a way to escape? Whip them into shape! Leave it to me! I'll show no mercy! Boy, I'm not the Get ready! What to do here? My legs won't stop shaking! Takes care of them. Not that I expected to, but I still haven't picked up their readings. I can imagine Marie would have them guarding the deepest part of the armory. I'd say we have our work cut out for us. Allow me to lead the way. Your job's to protect me at all costs. Understood? Okay, okay, we will. Even with Toshiro helping, we won't be able to avoid every single guard. Everybody, tread really lightly.
Let's end it.
Podcast. Then it's settled. Hmm. Ready to go? This room seems to be the end. Guess we made it. I'm picking up two readings nearby. Are they hiding in here? Oh, I swear. They pop up like... <laughs> Really do without that. <laughs> Talk about a hair trigger! I can hardly believe you scuttled your way in here instead of crawling back into whatever hole you came from. Mindless vermin like yourselves are easy enough to round up, though. Time for you to welcome your new master! Damn it. You are by yourself is enough trouble, but with Skull, too? One of my subjects should feel nothing but gratitude for this. But very, very soon, you won't be worrying about any of that. All you'll do is obey every order from your beautiful, charming master. And what more could mindless vermin ever hope for in life? <laughs> so sick of that stupid laugh! I understand. These two are the people we came to collect, right? Yeah! We're not leaving without our friends. Get ready, everyone!
do this. Nice position. You'll be well hidden. Nice position, Mona. This is gonna hurt. Here I go. So, you ready yet? Take this. <sighs> Just leave it to me.
bit tough. Looks like I still have some training to do. so passionate about running away. I'll go ahead and take care of the exit route. Everyone got their safety, buddy? Finally! Time to get out of here! Looks like we're in the clear. They must have given up pursuit. Are your two friends okay? Yeah, thanks. They woke up just a couple minutes ago. On and the others filled us in on what happened. So your arena, sounds like you've been a huge help to us here. The feeling's mutual. The Phantom Thieves have really turned things around for the Rebel Corps. <laughs> if everyone else is pulling their weight, sounds like I'd better start too. I'm looking forward to contributing as well. It's a pleasure to join you. Although, has anyone else noticed if their throat's awfully sore since coming here? Yeah, it's real weird. Like I've been hollering all day or something. Yes, I can imagine your throats would be sore after all the horrid laughing you were. Ah, uh, yeah, it's like uh, the air here is so much drier than back home. <laughs> Haven't you noticed, guys? Yup, Lady On's right. That settles it. Huh? Um. Okay. Why do I feel like I want to know what happened, but also not know?
We can do this. Make sure you're well prepared. Please, take your time. What would you like? You have a good option. Thanks for your purchase. Make sure you're well prepared. Everything. All right, here you go. Please, 
Take your time. You have a good Thanks for your purchase. Make sure you're well prepared. What would you like? Come back soon. We sure have a lot of choices. Come back again later. for bringing me that report. I'll be sure to spread the news. A giant cake? Oh, like a wedding cake? <sighs> Mario just keeps pissing me off more and more with her BS. Say, what do you think may have happened to make her want to hold her wedding now? If all she wants is a ceremony, she'd have no trouble getting one arranged whenever she pleased. According to past reports, Mario struggled to find someone she deemed worthy enough to marry. I have no idea what's taken her so long, but it sounds like she may have finally found someone to put through the ceremony. Am I the only one who thinks putting together a wedding before having someone to marry is weird? So the report's indicating she's about to marry someone? That is correct, then. Furthermore, her new partner will be at the ceremony in person. All we know of him so far is he's a handsome man with dark hair and piercing eyes. Hey, could that be... Sounds to me like they might be talking about Inari. Well, I guess he is the looker out of us guys. Still, why the hell is he getting married to such a god-awful person? I can't speak for Marie, but something tells me she isn't actually taking your friend's desires into account. Marie and her ceremony can go to hell! We have to rescue Yusuke before it's too late! Yes. In fact, this could be just the chance we need. If we know Marie and your remaining comrades are going to be at the plaza... And we get to rescue our friends and put our boots to Marie's ass at the same time! <laughs> Hang on a moment. I understand why you want to attack, but you're being entirely too hasty. Don't you think Marie would see this opportunity to set a trap for us? That is probably true. Even if we absolutely must go, we should at least prioritize our comrades. Imagine marching right up to the enemy commander. We never said we were planning to do anything like that. We just know there might be a fight waiting for us. I understand that as well, but there's a difference between bravery and recklessness. Looking at you all, I get a very uneasy feeling about this. It's fine. I think you made a good point there, if, if I'm honest. But even still, there are some things in this world you just gotta stand up to. That's how I... It's how all of us learned to move on. yet you're going to do it anyway, despite knowing it's irrational? I just cannot comprehend the way you kids think. However, I should apologize for taking over the conversation like that. I am not opposed to conducting a rescue operation. I will accompany you and offer any aid as needed. Nice! Then let's get out of here and crash this shitty wedding! We choose. Okay.
Sounds good.
okay. That it is. First, let's... Toshiro? Arena, please show me your right arm. Huh? Why? If I remember correctly, you were injured in our last battle? Yeah, I got a scratch, but it's not a big deal. You're only focusing on the end result. If you'd been struck in a more vital area, you could have easily lost your life. I understand that each of you have been following your heart to fight for what you believe is right. Your behavior isn't condemnable. However, I cannot approve either. I recognize that you've all been very capable of carrying out your missions with your lives on the line. But all it takes is one slip, and it's over. Your goals, your ideals, lost forever. I just felt I should point this out as the adult. I know as long as I fight, wounds like these are unavoidable. Still, I can't let my fear control me. Doing nothing won't help. The only thing I can say for sure is... I'm really scared. I'm scared that we're entering a world where corruption is free to flourish. And even worse, I'm scared of becoming someone who's okay with that. So I fight because I refuse to give up and turn a blind eye to the injustices in my world. Not only that, you said it only takes one slip up for everything to be lost. But getting hurt? For suffering through hard times? Those don't mean it's all over. And that means? When you follow your beliefs long enough, you're bound to meet others willing to fight by your side. And when something's impossible by yourself, you can trust your comrades to help you. When you think of it that way, it takes a lot more than one setback for it all to become meaningless. <sighs> and the Rebel Corps will carry on the fight in the name of our lost comrades! That we will. Oh, and don't worry about me endangering myself. I hate getting hurt. Ridiculous. Hmm. Exactly.
to do here. I won't miss! The Reader Here's took out an enemy! A skillful attack! Right there! Nice yes. one, Arena! Not much! Not over yet! Here I go! Take them down! Here I go!
for them. gotten this far without any real problems, but... Wait! Wait! I need it! Get you! Right! Oh, my sides! Grandpa! Keep it down! Oh, I admit you're very skilled at your maneuvering. But... If you think of the less athletically gifted present, I would appreciate it. Uh, oh, brother. I will accompany you and offer any aid as needed. Those were your exact words, right? What of it? Athletics aren't my area of expertise. My strong suits are, uh, let's see, arranging ceasefire deals, petitioning for reduced sentences, other negotiation demands. Hey, enough from your resume for now. They're about to start working on the cake. Now that you say that, why would they choose to make a cake here? They can't be planning to... What? I beg of you, let us go. Silence! You learned this when you defied Lady Marie! Be grateful that you get to contribute to the ceremony at all! Give us those tears of joy! Way too much. Why even go through the effort for something so horrible? Yeah, it wouldn't do us any good to know why they're such sick bastards. Treating people like that? It's inexcusable. Well, well now, it sounds, sounds like, like you think I consider them people. Seeing the looks on your faces, it seems you didn't know you were expected. I had considered naming all of you the guests of honor for my ceremony. But instead, I think I'll make you the entertainment. Soon, you'll experience the celebration up close and personally. After I've taken back my groom, that is. Taken back? Wait, Fox isn't a groom? What gives? Didn't you abduct our friend over there to marry him? What? Why would you think I'd ever settle for some inconsequential dirt or brat? There is but one fitting suitor here. Toshiro Kasukabe is destined to be mine! You, you're marrying me? Have you forgotten our arrangement? Or perhaps you're not remembering on purpose. Whatever the case, you have no choice but to stand at my side. FOREVER! Sorry about that. For a moment I felt... What the hell is going on? Let's try to figure it out later. We should focus on Makuchan and the others for now. Right! We don't have a chance against them if we hold back. Lay into it and keep your guard up. Better get ready. I'll beat you to a pulp.
So that's it. Hey.
Persona! Persona! Let's do this! Show me what you've got! What to do here? Say something! Arena! Hey, answer me! Mm. For Lady Marie! For Lady Marie! Stamp out every traitor! Wipe their existence from this kingdom! Oh, shit! This is getting worse. You have to... finish it. I have to? Don't say that. You know I can't. I'm not like you. I know. You can do it. It's just 
like before. <laughs> you must be getting delirious from the blood loss if you think that man's capable of anything on his own. He is nothing without my control. She's right. I can't help it all. How I feel. Damn it. I'll do it. This, this is the end! We're not making it out of this one alive! Don't give up yet! We can still prevail! Toshiro? We can't let this one setback make our efforts meaningless! Stand and fight! What, what was, was that? that? You imbeciles! Don't, don't just stand there! Stop him this instant! No one who defies Lady Maria shall be left alive! Oh, look at that! Toshiro finally found his guts! We should pull our weight too! Everyone, ready for one last push? You don't even have to ask. I'm just getting started. Lena, wish me luck. Oh, traitor! Another step and you're through! I'm... not done! Right! 
I'll show no mercy. Hmm?
Yes. Leave it to me. Now. Checkmate. Let's do this. I'm up. I'll show no mercy. A relief. <sighs> For real? brought you back here. Thank you. I appreciate the update. First things first. I'm sorry. I was too careless out there, and you suffered for it. My apologies as well. I promise I'll find a way to make up for such a shameful blunder. Marie's the one who should be sorry. You two have nothing to feel bad about. I'm just glad that everyone's all right now. All the rest is in the past. Thanks, guys. I'm glad you've got my back. With that said, uh... 
we should address the elephant in the room. Yeah, I, I can't stop bleeding. If someone loses over 50% of their blood, they're done for. I'm already at 30, 40%. I know, I know. But all you're doing is making a fuss over a little scratch. Yeah! Ow! If you're going to offer me medical care, could you try actually caring? I'm wounded here. So those two over there are Irina and Toshiro? When I heard he was a Diet member and opposed the Phantom Thieves, I certainly didn't expect this lively fellow. Yeah, there's a lot about him we don't really get. Would you please not talk about me while I'm present? Like I'm some doddering elder? <laughs> Busted. Hi, nice to meet you. Sounds like you're caught up, but I'm Arena, and this is Toshiro. You don't have to pay him any mind, though. That's not your call to make! With that said, we've spent enough time fooling around. Perhaps we should begin discussing the situation in full. First, I'd like to address what you're all probably thinking. What's the history between Toshiro and Marie, I would assume? Yeah, actually, I was wondering that. Marie definitely made it sound like you two had a past, but I couldn't pick up what the deal was. This would go a lot quicker if you just caught us up already. Or are you gonna play the amnesia card again? I knew it. I've never heard anyone actually gulp in fear before. If you don't have any intel to contribute, there's no need to concoct a fanciful excuse. That's not entirely true. I can't at least contribute the fact that I lost my memory. You really don't know anything about Marie? Yes. Really? Nothing at all? Y yes. Hey, is he starting to act fishy? Indeed. This reminds me of the interrogation Sojiro gave me when I stole his pudding from the fridge. You know, Toshiro, I'm not just your comrade. I'm also the leader of the Rebel Corps. With that in mind, you know I can't turn a blind eye to a potential enemy agent. I really hope I don't have to think up a punishment for you being Marie's spy. Wh wait More accurately, I feel as if I should know her, but for some reason I can't remember. What you're saying is... You may not remember the exact situation, but you can at least recall that you have a connection with Marie. Am I getting this right? Yes, exactly that! Miss Nijima, was it? You're an excellent summarizer. Oh, thanks. Well, it's not hard to imagine this just means Toshiro's engaged to the real world, Marie. But that's not enough for us to figure out everything else going on here. And it's assuming Toshiro hasn't been playing us this entire time, right? <laughs> no need for the evil eye here. Oh, you know, it's just that we've seen a lot in our time. Lots of liars and frauds. Lots of people who regretted it. <laughs> okay, we've razzed him enough. We know he's got to be at least a decent guy. I mean, he had enough guts to go after Arena and finish the job, didn't he? Yeah, that's true. He really saved our butts back there. Plus, if it turns out he's just another POS politician, we can always knock him around until he comes to his senses. Ain't that right? <laughs> no worries there. I'll make him see the light. Mr. Sakamoto, if I may, I need to apologize to you. I had thought you were merely an ill-tempered, dead-end delinquent. I greatly underestimated you. Great! Yeah, that, that's probably the first time I've been insulted in an apology. So, Arena, are you... Well, I guess I'm just not as nice as Ryuji. Oh, I'm kidding. What you did back there, that's all it took to make up my mind. As the leader of the Rebel Corps, I had to press you a bit, but I definitely trust you now. I see. I truly appreciate it. All right, back to business. Now that all the Phantom Thieves are finally reunited. Thankfully, our Phantom Thieves rescue mission was a success. So, I suppose you could go look for that portal in Mare's castle. The one Toshiro mentioned before. Wait, we agreed.
agreed to help you remove Marie from power in exchange for rescuing our friends, right? If we don't hold up our end of the bargain, we don't deserve to call ourselves Phantom Thieves. Does that sound right to you guys? Absolutely. How could we leave without paying Marie her fair dues? <laughs> Sounds like you're ready to get back out there, Mako-chan. And I feel the same way. Leaving a mission incomplete would be quite unlike us. Not only that, but we always repay our debts. Besides, looking for that portal while Marie's still skulking around is a pretty terrible idea. Count me in too. <laughs> we team up pretty well, huh? Hell yeah! Let's flip this kingdom upside down! Sounds like it's unanimous. So, it's settled. We're sticking with the Rebel Corps to the end. You guys, thank you. And I'll update my end of the deal. I'll make sure you get the help you need until all of you are back in your own world. <laughs> it seems we settled things rather quickly. The alliance between the Rebel Corps and Phantom Thieves shall go on. Why do you think you're the one to... Oh, never mind. Not exactly. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Yes. Thank you. So 
that means... No! I don't understand. But... So that's it.
okay. What did you say? Indeed. But... I was thinking... That's enough. Understand? Isn't that... <sighs> hmm. can we do? Even if we were to help him, there are too many guards around. Come on, we'd only get caught if we did that. He's right. If we do nothing, he'll just get captured again. Sounds like we're on the same page. All right, let's retreat for now and... No, we go help him. Do you expect me to abandon one of my own right in front of me? I never said we'd abandon him. All I'm saying is we can't afford to act recklessly here. Hmm. Marie may have the advantage in numbers, but it's not like they're all gathered in one spot. From what I'm picking up, the Legionnaires are spread out pretty thin right now. They must be trying to cover as much ground as possible. But if each unit's as small as it's sounding... All right, let's clean this place up before the poor little guy gets captured again. This way, we'll start thinning out Marie's ranks while rescuing our comrades at the same time. Let's do this. Fine. 
I won't say no to that. But we're retreating at the first sign of danger. I won't hear any excuses. Then that takes care of the plan. Now to execute it. Let's get to work, Joker. Here I go. Now. 
take that. Oh, as always, Joker. You got him. Get ready. This is gonna hurt. Hurry, hit, Mona. Now do it again. It's over for you. Behold the proof of my determination. Show me what you got.
So that's it. Thanks for your support today. I'm so relieved everything worked out. But uh, I keep thinking about how I lost my cool earlier. When Toshiro said we couldn't afford to act recklessly back there, deep down, I knew he was right. Despite that, I really tore into him. And now I regret what I said. Oh, don't go easy on me. I need to be better. I know I should apologize to Toshiro too. I'm finding it hard to process all my thoughts. I understand where Toshiro is coming from. I, I really do. If I go down, so does the Rebellion. I know that much, at least. But it feels like my heart's pulling me in another direction. Like it's screaming that I'll regret it if I run away. That's weird, right? Being more afraid of running away than fighting. Really? I didn't expect that. Uh, I figured you were... Who's there? Show yourself! It's just me! Please, don't attack me! Toshiro?! First, let me just say, I absolutely did not come here with the intention of eavesdropping. When I found the two of you, you were already deep in discussion, so I missed my window to join in. All that about your feeling bad and wanting to apologize, I swear it was merely coincidence that I heard it. That's classic Toshiro right there. Huh? And what's that supposed to mean? At any rate, I was looking for you with this fellow because he wanted to speak with you. So sorry for interrupting. I just wanted a moment of your time so I could express my gratitude for your bravery. Thank you so very much for saving my life. Ah, oh, don't sweat it. All I did was what's obviously the right thing. Only you could say that so casually. But I do finally see why the Rebel Corps will follow you to the ends of the Earth. I must admit, I envy your courage. Although there are times you can be as stubborn as a mule. Ah, that makes sense. And you remind me of a sloth. Or a turtle. Or maybe a snail. Okay, enough examples. You're getting cruel. I'm well aware that I lack any combat skills, and that my legs are always trembling when I'm on the battlefield. However, that doesn't mean I'm completely useless. Not to brag, but I'm confident that I possess the wits to survive adversities far better than many other people. Exactly. I believe I function best as the party strategist. It's a role that allows me to contribute to your cause, and fight alongside you in my own way. <sighs> Toshiro. Just as you have your own convictions, I have mine. I refuse to let anyone die under my watch. And that applies to you, too. <sighs> Thank you. I understand what you're saying. From here on out, I'll treat you as a comrade, not a liability. Thank you. I'll be sure to treat you similarly. From here on out, we're in this together. You said it. We're in this together. Oh, I just remembered. I do have one piece of good news to share. I asked the fellow we rescued for information about the prison he was in. Based on the details he gave me on the terrain and the guards' posts, I've devised a potential strategy for infiltration. Really? Yes. I'll share the details with everyone once we've reconvened as a group. Until then, though, I suggest we join them in getting some rest. I'm sure you two are downright bushed. You're right. Let's do that. And thanks for hearing me out, Joker. You should rest up, too.
So... Hey. That's...
still. Crawling with legionnaires. If we get any closer, we'll be spotted too early. Irina, do you copy? Yes. Just arrived at the starting point. We'll kick things off the moment I give the signal. First, let the enemy make visual contact, but keep your distance. Follow the predetermined route, making sure to activate the traps along the way. If you can keep Marie's army at bay for the entire pursuit, the mission's guaranteed to succeed. Roger that. All right, commencing operation in three, two, one. Go! Hey, you there! Ah, they've found us! What terrible luck! Whatever shall we do now? No! This is the last! Thing we wanted to happen. Your acting's even worse than Panthers, but it doesn't seem to matter. You've got this, Arena.
way. All right. Joker. 
Let's go. Our set. No mercy.
the burn back there. do here. Yeah. 
Now that we have the enemy in disarray, this would be a good time to strike. Irina, I think we ought to... Hang on. Before anything else, I have a proposal I'd like to make to you. What would that be? I want Toshiro to take command of the alliance between the Rebel Corps and the Phantom Thieves. You... what? Yeah. The latest strategy you cooked up is how I know it's a good idea. I'll still be the head of the Rebel Corps, and he will be the leader of the Phantom Thieves. But I'd like you to take on the role of commanding our joint forces in battle. I know you're capable of leading us to victory. What's your take on this? What do you say to a promotion, Toshiro? Well, if you insist, 
I certainly am more suited for fighting with brains than with brawn. Not to brag, of course. And that settles it. We're all counting on you, Toshiro. Y yes. Likewise. Rebel Corps has increased in strength, and we have a new general to boot. All that's left is taking down the enemy leader. Let's do our best and show Marie what for. The time's finally arrived. We've got a massive battle ahead of us. Make sure you're well prepared. Which means... Very well. Something wrong? Hey. 
Ready! Yes, that's it! What did you say? That's enough. Started filling out the ranks. <laughs> Are you pumped for the big showdown yet? Mm hmm. We're finally nearing the numbers we need. Marie had better be ready. Big showdown, eh? It's certainly shaping up that way. Though it's somewhat concerning that she hasn't shown herself since we saw her last. No matter what, she likely has an idea of how we'll be approaching her castle. So you think she's just waiting for us, huh? If that's the case, she must be pretty confident. She has good reason. That castle is basically impregnable. Believe me, we're not getting anywhere with a frontal assault. Not to worry. I've got a strategy worked out. I call it Operation Stinky Stinky Bang Bang. I hope this plan's better than the name. Let me take it from the top. Our first target location is the plaza in front of the castle. If we can occupy that, We'll have a secure starting point. It'd be best if you Phantom Thieves joined us on that. Afterwards, the Rebel Corps will begin a full assault on the castle entrance. And we'll infiltrate it during the commotion. Is that right? Exactly. We've already narrowed down the routes where security will be the lightest. 
Sounds decent enough for us, but won't it put the rebels in kind of a bad spot? I mean, do you really want him facing down Marie's whole army like that? The Ryuji, do not be so quick to misjudge our strength! Uh, where did you... We fight in the name of freedom just as you do. To not give this our all would make us the disgraces of the Rebel Corps. Damn, guys. We are the ones who requested that the captain accompany your infiltration squad. On behalf of the entire Rebel Corps, we need you to defeat Marie with your own hands. Please have faith. We vow to ensure your infiltration is successful. <laughs> How could we deny you after such a passionate speech? Now that I think of it, isn't this the first time we've officially teamed up with another group in a fight? I want you to know, before we leave, that we now share fates as comrades. The Rebel Corps will always help the Phantom Thieves, just as the Phantom Thieves have helped the Rebel Corps. Never forget that we're a united force who can rely on each other. That's the spirit. Soon enough, we'll claim the last victory. <laughs> Thought that's taken care of. Now it's time to show Marie what's up. Out the crowd. The Rebel Corps really beefed up their numbers. Yes, it's quite inspiring. <sighs> Toshiro, you've been surprisingly quiet for a while now. Starting to feel the nerves. Nerves? <laughs> Have you forgotten who you're talking to? Spare me the jokes. <laughs> uh, well, actually, uh, I have been rather anxious. You. Man, don't tell me you're back to saying we shouldn't fight. <laughs> don't worry. Those concerns are long gone. At this point, I fully agree that we need to fight back. And if we're all on the same page, you're good. No need to get stressed. Skull's right. Look, you've got all these guys behind you. And the Phantom Thieves on your side. I admit that is reassuring. Thanks, guys. Captain, preparations are complete. We only await your order! Hmm. Good to hear. Everyone, we now march to our final battle. On this day, each of us will stand up to oppression and exploitation. We fight so we can regain our freedom. We fight for our very lives. You are with me just as I am with you. Please. Lend me your strength, and we will all be freed! Quite the rousing speech. Are you going to let her outdo us, Joker? Yeah! Really give it to us, Joker! Right! We owe Marie some payback. Time, a hundred! <sighs> it's time. All troops, move out! have been scattered! Now's our chance! Artillerymen, advance! All others, fall back! Fire!
The time for revolution has come! Alright, time for the sneaky part of the plan. I know we expected it, but they've got a whole buttload of troops! Are you guys sure you'll be okay? You needn't worry about us. You and the captain go on ahead. We'll keep them distracted. We've been waiting this chance to defy Marie for so long! Let's go, Joker. There's no time to waste. Great! We made it inside. Seems like we're pulling it off so far. Same for the Rebel Corps. Even Toshiro's turned out to be a natural. This is hardly a challenge for me. All I've done is harness my talents. <laughs> and keep your legs from giving out on ya. He was real close to losing it back there. Alright, next step is finding Marie. She's in the most secure area of the castle. I still have a vague recollection from before. Nice job, Queen. In that case, let's keep pressing on. Heads up, we've got company! Looks like they know we're here! Leave it to me. I'll cut them all down. Intruders located! Intruders located! Annihilate the traitorous scum! Yes. 
Here I go. All right. Let's do this. Yeah. Yeah.
Appear. Let's get going. All right, time to kick some ass. Hmm. Something bugging you, Noir? Which this place reminds me of a wedding venue. Oh, like the giant welcome sign over there. And the stacks of gift envelopes, I'm assuming. Sheer amount of white in here. The red carpet, the rose decorations. She's really gone all out. If her cognition was what manifested all this, it's like we're in her palace. According to Miss Lavenza, kingdom supposedly works differently from the rest of the metaverse. But, if Marie's cognition really is responsible for this, maybe this is close enough to be considered her palace. Oh, that means we might be able to find some clues about her here. Yeah, we could definitely use some concrete info for once. Well, the only way out is up, right? You still good to go, Toshiro? Believe me, I'm as ready to finish this as the rest of you are. All this business with Marie and this other world, it's clear that I'm not merely a spectator here. At this point, I need to know the truth. I may not be as brave as you all, but I'm just as determined. Well, look who's learned to talk the talk. <laughs> Let's get going then. Is this... Uh, projection room? 
Rather out of place for a wedding venue. What could it mean? I agree that it's pretty weird, but we're better off finding Marie than talking about this projector. Wait, it turned on by itself. That. Oh, Shiro, why must you keep disappointing me? I don't understand why you can't play along. Are you toying with me or something? <sighs> you couldn't have come across more awkwardly at the engagement party. Our relationship is one that will build great things someday soon. Letting your feelings interfere with that is simply childish. What if your bungling led some sleazy journalist to run a hit piece on us? There's already gossip. I, I'm sorry. Of course you are. Begging forgiveness is the one thing you're any good at. Listen for once. You are my sorry excuse for a puppet. When a puppet can't do what it's supposed to, you can imagine how I handle it. Uh, who is that? Marie. Hondo. That's right, I... Uh... Toshiro! Sorry, I'm... I'm all right. It's finally come back to me. I remember now. If this castle of Marie is actually Marie Anto, then there's no mistake that I am her fiancé. Would you be willing to tell us more? Of course. Marie is the daughter of a CEO for a major conglomerate, and our marriage was arranged by my... father? Yes, my father. He's a politician as well. He'd long been focused on marriage as a potential career booster for me. Marie's family needed our power, and my father needed their financial back. It all boils down to a marriage of convenience, so our families could get what they wanted. <sighs> well, I guess I get the situation. Do you really want to marry her? I got the feeling you weren't really on board with this. What I wanted didn't matter. If I raised a fuss, it would have tanked the marriage talk. Who knows what Marie's family would have done in retaliation if I happened to harm their reputation. So considering that fact, I figured I would just grin and bear it. Hindsight, that approach may have only worsened her frustrations with me. Still, the two of you were actually engaged, right? Why'd you let her treat you like shit? I think I might understand. Your father's expectations of you, and the pressure you're under. You start telling yourself, if I just put up with it now, it'll be okay later. You are. But I know you'll only regret it later. And that's how it was for me. Huh. Thank you. You're exactly right. Don't worry about me. I'm actually finding myself handling the stress a bit better after winding up here. Now if only my legs would stop trembling. We sure will. Marie's gonna see what the Phantom Thieves do to people who mistreat their puppets. That's right! In fact, you should shake your legs so hard it freaks her out! I'm not perfect either, so I wouldn't totally vilify Marie in this situation. But I am determined to settle this on my own terms. Great. And let me help you however I can. It appears this area is free of guards. Let's keep moving. Great. Another weird room. Ugh. This place get any gaudier? Her obsession with this wedding is downright creepy. <laughs> Considering how far she's willing to go for her wedding, maybe it's about making a show of her power? That would definitely do more for her pride than any old wedding. And it'd certainly explain her demand to make the entire kingdom into her wedding venue. Taking over an entire nation just to host a wedding. Sufferable must be for her subjects. My fiance is extremely obsessed with gaining political power. I suppose that's why she agreed to our engagement. She wants my title, nothing more. Koshiro. So being filthy rich wasn't enough for her? 
she needs all the power too, huh? Oh, sorry to interrupt, but we've got company. We're not gonna be able to skirt them either. Well, here they are. Come on, let's get this over with. Hang 
send it. Be close if they're getting that much tougher. With the Rebel Corps giving it all they got outside, we'd better be getting close. Hmm. Hey, those pictures on the balloons. Isn't something off with them? Huh? What? What the heck? His face is missing? Winning bride with a faceless groom. This is more appropriate for a horror film than a wedding celebration. This woman is clearly Marie, so the faceless groom is most likely... Yes, no doubt that's me. said before, Marie is only interested in me for my political power. Since my face ultimately has nothing to do with that, I wouldn't even be surprised if she can't remember it. Sure, but it still must suck when she's this blatant with it. The lady's selfish enough to turn the whole city into a wedding venue. You're surprised she only remembers her own face? Marie is clearly not a person of sound mind. That's why it's our job to right her wrongs. Now let's hurry along and track her down. Ugh! What the heck's that? What's with the messed up bear? Wait, is this just a toy? Hmm, well it's definitely not hostile to us, but what's it doing here? I guess it's part of Marie's wedding decor? Not sure why anyone would want this at their reception, though. I'm. Uh, hey, did you all hear that? Come on, cut that out! Seriously, it's not funny. I'm. Uh... Ow! 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 Don't squeeze me like that. We eat the spike. <gasps> I. I'm sorry. I'm. Uh. Pathetic puppet. Hey, wouldn't you say that bear sounds like Toshiro? I mean, it's even sort of dressed like him. Huh? Lady Marie, give me my orders. I can't make my own decision. I don't want to think about anything. I live to obey your orders. I promise I won't defy you. That's just... Please let me serve you, Lady Marie. Please let me serve you. It's so much easier to go with the flow. Why make things harder for yourself? Right. be attacking us directly, but in terms of psychological damage, it certainly dealt a low blow. Hmm. Koshiro, you all right? <laughs> T Toshiro? Oh no, guys! The bear broke! 
broke Toshiro! Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm merely laughing because that bear finally made me take a good long look at myself. Once you realize how you come across, there's nothing left but to change. Now I know I have no intention of taking all this lying down anymore. When we find Marie, I'm going to make that monster eat her words! Yes! Well said! This woman is sick. Her obsession with controlling and humiliating people. She's done getting away with it! Whoa, Queen's gonna riot! Look sharp. We've been spotted. I've tracked down the intruders! <laughs> Bring it on! The hunter's about to become the prey!
show no mercy. Show me what you got. All right. My turn. Here I go. Nice cover. Fire it. What to do here?
do here? Oh, right, Joker! Nice hiding spot! Now's the time! Our set!
this room? If I remember correctly... <gasps> I think I remember it too! Yeah, this is where she first got in our heads. Made us say stuff like, Lady Marie is the greatest. Really? Is that complaining I hear? When I'm taking such good care of you. You were fortunate enough to have been made my subjects. That sort of thing usually results in tears of gratitude. Marie. <sighs> but that's all water under the bridge. Now that you've brought my fiance back to me. In fact, I'll let you off the hook. Just be sure he doesn't try to slink a word with you. Ha! You really think we came back to take more of your orders? Your reign ends here and now. If you're willing to surrender and accept your fair punishment... What? My punishment? Listen, you butter-beating swine! If there's any punishing to be done, I'm the one who does it around here! This is why I can't stand the fools. Show them the smallest mercy and they bite the hand that feeds them. You low-lives should be falling over yourselves. Thanking me for the opportunity to serve someone like myself! Jeez, is this really what rich folks think of people? Uh, I certainly don't think all of them are like that, at least. Toshiro, what are you doing with this film? Hurry the hell up and get over here, idiot! <laughs> you aren't thinking of saying no to me, are you? Are you? Done with you! What? What? Are you serious right now? Where did you get the idea that you have the right to defy me? I told you, I'm done with you! <gasps> what the hell? You're just a puppet! How are you even able to do this? What you made so wrong? You've got it wrong, Shipper Brain! He's done serving as your yes man. <laughs> oh, spare me your pathetic attempts at humor. Nobody can change who they are that pretty, let alone that pathetic, spineless, stuffed shirt next to you. All you've done is drag him here by his hair and talk him into spouting nonsense. Toshiro, did you ever stop to consider the only thing you've done is let these Breath, take over your leash! Can you say anything besides total bullshit? Nothing pisses me off more than grown-ups who pretend everything they spout is just facts! Shut up, kid. Come now, Toshiro. Don't you remember? Without a spine of your own, who are you going to follow? I... I'm... Right, Toshiro. Don't listen to a monster like her. Right, shut up, shut up, shut up! You're babbling bourbon! Fine, Toshiro. Have it your way. I'll just teach you a lesson. It's going to be a painful one. I hope you're ready!
Joker! Nice hiding spot! Great position, Joker! I'll show no mercy! Cool as always, Joker! You got him! So graceful! Panther's living up to her name! With the cover! Here I go! Right on target! That's how you do it, Panther! Coming this way! Run! 
no surrendering is useless now, right? No talk of surrender over here. We just finished up our plan to take you down. You smart mouth pig! That kind of lip on you! I'm gonna slaughter you first! Showing Mario. I'd like to see you try. we wouldn't learn to empathize with other people. just crying, whining, Whip them into shape. Here I go.
We did it! People like to call karma. You weren't. Why? Why am I the one getting attacked here? The only thing I wanted was to be the wife of the prime minister. How can I, of all people, get treated this way? All I've done is taken what I'm rightfully owed. It's not fair. Why? <sighs> Arya, please give it up. Keep pushing yourself and you'll only get hurt. Toshiro, are you seriously going to stand there, posturing like you're on their side? Their side? You heard me. Do you really think you can just bury your own past and start playing the hero? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, that's some awfully convenient amnesia you gave yourself, isn't it? You should know we're well past falling for your tricks, Marie. <laughs> Talk as tough as you like, regardless of whether or not I'm lying. You'll find out all too soon. Because I know the truth. I know what you've done, all your crimes. Try as you might to whitewash your memory. You'll never hide it all. There's no escaping what you've done. I hope for your sake, your friends never find out. <laughs> either. Looks like they went along with her. But we never finished them off. We must be different from the typical Shadow. Also, unless it's too different, the real world Marie shouldn't have a mental shutdown from her shadow being destroyed. Well, I'm only speculating, so I can't be sure. Uh, we need to celebrate our victory first. We actually overthrew Marie. Oh, right! That's a good point. Someone's got to give the folks outside the good news. How about it, Arena? <laughs> My pleasure. Everyone, listen up! We've deposed the tyrant Marie. At long last, the revolution has come! What I now hold is our banner of victory! Your dark times are now over. Rejoice in the light of freedom! Did she just... Did she just say we won? So, our days of suffering are really over? We did it! We really did it! Hurrah for the Rebel Corps! Well, I'm glad we could hold up our end of the deal. We couldn't have asked for more. We'd have been wiped out if it weren't for you all. I'm not sure I could ever express my gratitude well enough. The rebels certainly gave it all they had out there. But we couldn't have won if you hadn't come to our world. There's simply no denying it. Well, hopefully they won't mind me speaking for them, but on behalf of the entire Rebel Corps, We 
came to show our gratitude for liberating us. Thank you very much. Wait, wait, wait! The room's not gonna fit all of you! So many of them! And they're still piling in! <laughs> I must say, such a lively atmosphere can be quite nice. <laughs> Looks of it, he just got swallowed up by the mob. But I gotta say, I agree with Fox. We might be in the metaverse, but this is the first time we've been celebrated by a crowd. Well, what a fun way to say it! Mission complete. That doesn't change the fact that there are too many of them. We're gonna get compressed worse than a zip file. Please don't hold it against them. They're just swept up in the moment. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for saving our home, Phantom Thieves. Time to write. Again? Hmm, I think so. Boy, that was a way bigger commotion than I expected. Uh, I told them I'm not a phantom thief, but they kept tossing me. Oh, so sick. All right, now that we've gotten some closure, it's probably a good time for us to head off. Indeed. Farewells are never easy, but we shouldn't pass up the opportunity to escape. It's too bad we didn't find out how this place affects the real world. Hopefully we'll get some answers when we get back. Oh, hey! I found our ever-elusive door! Look! Over there! The more I look at it, the more it strikes me. This is like the one we saw in LeBlanc. Then, does that mean home's on the other side of this door? That's an exciting thought, isn't it? <laughs> Can I... Is it really wise for me to go back? Toshiro? I'm sorry, I just can't help but dwell on Marie's last words. Oh, you mean her rant about your crimes? <laughs> she was just trying to twist the knife one last time. That's certainly true, but... If I'm truly a criminal like Marie said, perhaps taking me back with you is actually a poor idea. Hmm. Well, if you can believe it, I've been in your shoes. I had a pretty serious bout of amnesia myself. You did? Yeah. I didn't know who I was or why I existed. I couldn't remember anything. I definitely know how much it can weigh down on you. <laughs> but thanks to Joker and the Phantom Thieves, I was able to grow and move past that. And you can do the same thing too, now that you've got us. <laughs> you said it. No matter how you were in the real world, we'll always remember when you had our backs. Plus, I already told you. If you turn out rotten back home, we'll knock some sense into you, no matter how many slugs it takes. <laughs> if you need it, I could lend a hand. Well, now, I certainly hope it doesn't come to that. I've seen just what your hands can do. Thanks, everyone. I suppose I can hold my whining down until we're home. I'll tag along for now, just to make sure you're getting home safely. All right, here we go. Back to the real world. Hope you're all ready for this. You do the honors, Joker. <laughs> <laughs> 